This call is being recorded. Beautiful. So I am recording our conversation, and please do not hesitate to interrupt if you have any questions whatsoever. And that is totally fine. Um, yeah, I'm glad to see once again you're born '96, and you're also an angel. You're also Gemini too. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's awesome. I know we probably did a reading before, so this is the transit forecast that I'm very honored to do with you. Um, and yeah, once again, please don't hesitate to interrupt if you have any questions that you want to ask whatsoever. Um, and yeah, we're in Pisces season, which is pretty pivotal because uh, over the next six months, we'll be in Virgo season, coming back to Libra. And uh, as a Libra rising, as an artist, Pisces season is the once in a year lifetime, sorry, it's the once in a year uh, behavioral development transit, where every February, March, you change your lifestyle, you change your habits and routine so that by September, you're transcending unconscious habits expressed socially with other people. And then October, you come around and you balance a new identity relative to how you change your behavior. And because Pisces is the behavioral plug for you in the sixth, your behavior is influenced by the collective unconscious through the portal of your imagination because you're an artist and artists live the life of their dreams. I'm sorry, that's so gangster. Uh, <laughs> especially seeing you have the North Node on your rising. So you are like a true aspect of destiny. Um, and, and yeah, so, you know, with that being said, yeah, you're going through this six house transit, but now we also see that Jupiter is in your six. So, unlike most Pisces seasons, we're in chapter six of your natal chart because 2017 was the year Jupiter went through Libra and evolved your personality. You stepped into the full creativity of your social personality in evolving a brand new 12 year cycle. And so congratulations, because in a short six years, you're now getting ready to go into chapter seven, uh, where Jupiter coming through your sixth house in Pisces is evolving. It's literally pimping your whole lifestyle. It's changing your whole life. It's evolving now the routine with which you're inspired to expand and take to the next level how you live your life. So by the time we step into May and Jupiter's in Aries, your entire life will be changed. And by the time we step into September, you will have made real this change of lifestyle that you're starting March 2nd to actually enact. Uh, you're on the verge of this, which is super gangster because now, um, once you step into the seventh house, that's six years worth of personal development. When Jupiter goes through your first through sixth house, you evolve your personality, which you did 2017, 2018, it went through Scorpio, you evolve the pure wisdom of your value because you got the sauce. And then 2019, you evolve your ascended abilities and Sagittarius and how you apply this ascended outlook towards your relationships with other people. Uh, 2020, the North Node went through your sign, so you were ascending your philosophy while you were evolving your home space. You may have moved 2020 or renovated your inner space. This was also your Jupiter return. Uh, Pluto, as of now, is 27 degrees Neptune, and it's awakening your intuition, uh, which we'll speak on. And then 2021, last year, was the year that you evolved your extraordinary talent. So relative to your ascended skill set in Sagittarius, now, uh, Aqua, fifth house as an artist, has a lot to do with writing, public speaking, communication. But 2021 was the year you got really serious on what it is you love. Saturn's transiting your fifth. 
This will enable you to monetize actually your talents. And you have Uranus in Aquarius, which is so awesome that you're part of the new generation because you evolve this clear cognizant channel that Pluto will awaken post like 2023, uh, coming into 2025. So yeah, this is really key because 2022, Jupiter is now in Pisces. And so the purpose of the sixth house is to take everything that constitutes the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth house and bring it all together. If you've evolved all these facets of you, this is the year you bring all of these facets of you integrated into the life of your dreams. Congratulations, Mary. This is the year you're gonna really fully step into the life of your dreams like never before. And the key significance of this is now when Jupiter goes into Aries, you're integrating this dream life into your relationships with others. And this is gonna open a whole new chapter of relationships. So it's preparing you for marriage, business partnerships, and because your destiny is attached to the seven and your karma is in Aries with Juno. So, you, oh my gosh, did I give you an alien construct article to kind of show how you're a queen? Okay, I yeah. did. Okay, because we both have, we both have moon Saturn, but you have the south node and the goddess queen Juno. So that's an indicator that of some sorts, you're a soul queen ruler. I didn't necessarily factor in Juno here, uh, but this is really key as a, you have the spirit of an angel, uh, but you have the warrior soul. So, you know, a lot of your karma and destiny is to unlock authenticity. It's like you hold people in check into the integrity of how authentic they are. People need to be super authentic with you because that'll allow you to mm -hmm. unlock your destiny as an artist. Like you you keep other people straight so that you can step more into who you are, if that makes sense. And okay. this is everything that when your karma returns 2025, you'll complete. Jupiter's gonna go through here and evolve. And the nodes will also kind of come through here too. And this is getting ready to completely unlock your soul space and power because moon and cardinal signs like you and i we have soul power then you have saturn on your moon so you have karmic soul power and then destiny's right next to your moon so you're destined to have all this karmic soul power this is important because at an unconscious <laughs> level you really can put people in check like you can look people in the eye and you can command them to be like what is your name or like who are you and whether they want to or not they're gonna have to do it it's unconscious though people may not realize it's because you commanded it and it's really more of a burden i mean they're not in a bad way but it can be a burden because this is your responsibility towards other people in maintaining that authenticity so like if other people are fake you can't be fake because you're the truth you're uh, originally the truth ascended here so wanted to just kind of speak a little bit into that because this is everything that you're integrating coming into the next few months. Uh, we finished Aquarius season. So this was you really kicking off this cycle of extraordinary talents that relative to Jupiter in your sixth, you're integrating into your behavior. Whereas last year you were just discovering these talents come 2021. Now you're getting ready to apply what you love more into how you can form a routine that aligns with what you believe you should be living. The cool thing here is right now, you still may be in the dark of that. By March 2nd, you're gonna officially start that sixth house cycle. And the next few months from now is gonna be cool because now as a Gemini, and this is cool, because I was born June 11, and you being born June 10th puts us like, our sons are right next to each other. So within that space, there's certain awareness, even though we progress at different rates that you'll come into. For example, Pisces is your sixth house, but as a Gemini sun, this Jupiter in a Pisces transit is 10th house to us. So we're gonna be aware of this Jupiter transit and career upgrades. This is actually the year you come into your dream job and you come into divine success that with Neptune make miracles come true. And for you to come at this at a young age, congratulations. Um, oh, thank you. 
Oh yeah. Now this awareness of career is going to play out for you where in your lifestyle. So this is going to change your life. This is going to change your routine because of opportunities that now kind of literally align more with what you've been imagining. And I'm going to attach eBooks uh, and audio books rather that you can kind of apply over the next few months so that by May, everything that you're feeling, you know, the future desire you're feeling is a present fact, by May, it'll all manifest with this exercise. So that'll be included in the when i send you the recording to this reading okay thank you mm -hmm. oh no um so yeah uh i just kind of wanted to express that this is a very pivotal period that sixth house seventh house transit it, it's representing your it's like coming of age it's representing your growth and and how you've done the work really coming through 2020 and so once we go from seventh house to first house you're taking that personal development and from the seventh to the tenth, you're evolving your purse, you're evolving your relationships, bringing forth your evolved personality and how you deal with others so that you can come into career success. Then you come back from the tenth to the first to do it all over again six years from now. So the sixth house transit is pivotal because it's putting together all the work you've done the past five years. And you want to really congratulate yourself for that because by May, you're done. Jupiter will be in Aries. It'll go over your Juno and Saturn. You already start to see karmic evolution uh, as, you're, as you get ready for solar evolution that will start 2023. So March 2nd is going to be the cycle that begins the change of your life. You want to really just up until that point, go with the flow because you're not going to like we're just finishing the knowledge coming out of Aquarius. Now we're in Pisces season. And so this is you applying this knowledge of the talent and the ascended nature knowledge that goes into your inner child and the clear cognizance that is expanding how much more intuitive you are to now integrating your lifestyle. Because all of this was sextile Neptune, Neptune is transdimensional enough to where it's invisible. But because it connects directly with your mind and Mars, and then because it's going to sextile uh, Pisces and Pluto is on it right now, your intuition for the first time ever is awakening. I have a 13 degree Neptune. So when this happened to me, on a subtle level, I dreamt more powerfully. I was just a lot more psychic. It's, it's subtle, though, because with everything going on in your life, you may not notice it as directly as personal planets, but this connects to your personal planets. So let's speak on it. Your intuition is one of the most powerful intuitions ever. 97 and 96 have claimed to that. Like you guys can talk smack. You can, you can really like, you can really talk your crap because it's so powerful. And, and not only is it so powerful, you have your mind and Mars connected to it. So unlike most other people with this, the way your brain processes information in Taurus grounded and then your Mars is connected to your brain. So you have a natural way of taking determined action real time based off of everything you're thinking and analyzing in the eighth house, 12th house to your son. And so this is a body language indicator of how naturally you intuitively move with other people. And so Neptune trining this is this unconscious, supernatural, intuitive power that will instinctually understand the nature of someone's character and whether you should trust them or not within the first five seconds of talking to somebody because you have an angelic awareness. So you already see the truth with the Gemini and your body instantly knows how to move around them. It's just these dynamics are so quick, you're gonna register them as just normal thoughts. But Pluto awakening this right now is going to throughout Pisces season help you perceive how to integrate this awakened superpower of your intuition into your lifestyle practically in a way that you actually are aware of and can now integrate into your behavior with other people because Neptune is sextiling this too. So you're going to have a literal sixth sense for how to really like make sense of all this. And it's not going to be until Aries season that you'll actually take action towards it. 
So Pisces season is going to literally change your behavior and belief around your behavior so that once we step into Aries, you will now be taking direct action in relationships with and towards other people to integrate this change of behavior in those partnerships. And that's Aries season in a nutshell, where as soon as we begin Aries season, you're applying this new cycle of Jupiter. You're now relative, because now last year, Aries season, you were taking action towards other people, but relative to Jupiter and Aquarius that had newly defined brand new talents. Now you're integrating these talents in your life and you're sharing that with other people. And so this is going to be very dynamic. Jupiter is going to get ready to come out of Aries or, or Pisces and into Aries. And elements of your belief system and your philosophy that other people like adamantly rejected because they're dumb or because they just couldn't open their mind up to it because they're dumb. Uh, now they're going to see you actually living it. What makes them dumb isn't being ignorant to it, but projecting on you that you're a liar or delusional. When you're not delusional, you're an angel and they're dumb. So this is where they're going to actually see you living it. And now it's going to be harder while you're showing this to people in the seventh house to deny it because it's, it's like you're showing it to them. You showed it to them before, but now they can't really gaslight it because now it's cemented into your lifestyle. You're living this magical life more than normal. You're applying this change of life to now change your relationships. And these are individual actions you're taking towards other people that your soul in Aries is feeling you're destined to do, and you'll be karmically challenged to live up to, hold space of this authenticity. Even that new moon cycle in Aries will start that cycle of these partnerships because in October, six months from now, that's going to balance into who you are based off of six months of this new cycle in Aries. So the individual actions you take towards others will now create the social personality with other people personally by October, checkpointed in cancer season, where you're now establishing new levels of success and goals relative to these individual Aries seventh house actions with other people. And now those actions you take April are gonna manifest Taurus season. And this is where everything you've been imagining will become real. This will kick off the eclipse cycle that will transform your whole reality. And because you got the sauce as a Libra rising, the South node is using the resources of your own wisdom to invest in the right people with the right values and the right individuals. This is taking your intangible value to invest in practical, tangible means. It's using wisdom to invest in the right crypto, real estate, stocks, wisdom, people. And this is with Taurus, greater intimacy physically or with material items, trusting people with your material resources, people trusting you with their material resources. The North Node as we speak right now is 26 degrees on your Mercury. And so your mastermind is also being unlocked in order to process much more magically in anticipation for your Saturn return and strong, okay, so that you can align with destiny to who you are meant to deal with. This is going to naturally guide you magically. Uh, I'm also going to do this too, because Mercury for me is like 29 degrees. So we're, we're kind of on it. We're like destiny portals, which is really magical. But by May, okay, we have the eclipse in Taurus in your eighth. And this is going to really kick off that cycle of, of course, in the eighth house, not only transforming your relationship relative to how well you can invest with other people, but more so also being in a position to because this is 12th house to your son, transcend the behavior around your dealings with people and how much you trust yourself uh, with what you pick up intuitively. Because this is in water houses, it's going to be a little bit more complicated in its subtlety, but this is actually going to just make more practical how much more control you exercise in these situations. We also will have Saturn in the fifth square all this, so this is going to challenge the karmic responsibility 
towards the boundaries you draw to protect your heart's desires uh, in the face of people who are just not trustworthy, which you'll discern here instantly. And tour season is a huge checkpoint because we're going to see Jupiter finally enter Aries. So Jupiter sneak peeking in your seventh house is very key because by the time we step into August, September, it starts to retrograde back in Pisces. And this is going to go over your Juno and Saturn. Uh, my friend had Jupiter go over their Saturn and they had a work bonus. They got like an extra 15,000 or 50,000 bucks or something like that. Um, <laughs> right. Super awesome. I mean, I didn't get any kind of bonus when I have when that happened for me, but uh, I was working for myself, so that was kind of the bonus. It's like it just kind of it really did kind of like evolve a bit my career. So you know, this is in preparation for your Saturn return, gonna evolve this karmic power since it's a function of your soul power. It's gonna prepare you for 2023 when Jupiter truly goes through this transit after you've evolved your lifestyle, and it's gonna begin in 2023, beginning of next year, the evolution of your relationships and how much more powerfully since 2017, you bring your personality towards other people. Very dynamic, very fun, because as a Gemini sun, this is also going to give us new friends and bring us rewards from career. So by the time we step into May, June, a lot of the career upgrades will now be grounded in reality and you will be consolidating this expansion of your money in the right investment channels which in taurus are individually manifested that being said gemini season is going to bring to light for you all of these dynamics and the lifestyle that you are now creating in march you're going to align into your true philosophy in Gemini and actually communicate based off what you've been living, based now at this point by June, you have already changed your life since March, since that new moon cycle. And this change of behavior has reflected in your relationships since April, it's transformed since May, and now you're literally seeing in June this change. You're able to communicate it. Now, the next four months of reestablishing this change of lifestyle from your philosophy to your spiritual beliefs will make this lifestyle real in Virgo season. And so Gemini season is a checkpoint to actually balance based off what you're thinking, how more to influence your lifestyle change that square from Neptune here is going to also see how much more you can align in theory what you're living versus how to actually show this to the world. And once we step into cancer season, that's exactly what you do. You're now stepping into a greater level of success with Jupiter squaring this in Aries to see how personally and sincerely you're able to bring key partnerships to exalt and push you more into success versus drawing boundaries with relationships that hold you back from said career success. Everything that you established creatively this Aquarius season is what in August you're going to perform creatively in the 11th house with newly defined talents that take more courage to express how creative you've mastered this through Taurus season. And this is where we'll start to see Jupiter retrograde. And then, of course, Virgo season is where we're going to complete the Jupiter cycle as it retrogrades back into Pisces and grounded these newly defined divine habits through Pisces into Virgo to release. And that, in a nutshell, is, you know, the next six months ahead. Did you have any questions at all? Wow. Very intense. Uh, thank you very much. Um, right now, I cannot think about any questions, but I probably need to listen to it again to really sink it in. No problem. And please feel free to email me if you have any questions during these next six months, because I think this is going to be really exciting for you. And uh, feel free to, you know, as you listen to it uh, uh, several times, uh, just kind of see if anything, how, how it kind of plays through. 
because uh, your specific configurations are very over the next two three years it's really really changing everything to change the quality of, of relationships it's going to upgrade the quality of relationships but i'm going to send you this recording right now and you stay blessed. Yeah, thank you.